Oh, it's on the screen. Okay. You know, it's unable to record a backup. Okay, go on here. Okay. Well, happy Sunday morning, y'all. <laughs> so, we just want to welcome you. All those of you that join us by audio or video, we just want to welcome you and say good morning from New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. So, anyway, what well, we tell you every day, every every Sunday, prepare yourselves to receive. God has something special for you, and you have to grab it, and you got to take it. Amen. So, praise God. Thank you, Lord. I want to uh, apologize for last week uh, because it was a, what Patricia calls it, a tongue tying or tongue twister. <laughs> My title last week was, uh, last Sunday was Bloom and Gloom for Jesus. And I kept saying, bloom and gloom. So we're supposed to bloom and glow for Jesus. Amen. So wherever he puts us, we're to grow. We're, we're, we're to bloom and we're supposed to glow for Jesus. Amen. The world, I was saying, is always doom and gloom. Always bad. Always sad. You know. So you got you to gotta make that choice yourself. What do you want to do? Do you want to be in doom and gloom? Or do you want to be bloom and glowing for Jesus? That means you got to get yourself in the Word. And you got to get the Word in you. You got to get the Word out to the world. Amen? To that doom and gloom. <laughs> and bring the good news so that they can join us also. And bloom for Jesus. And glow for Jesus. Amen? So praise God. I just wanted to apologize for that. want to get that out. But anyway. <clears throat> uh, today's message is about giving thanks. Giving thanks. I wrote a little note here on the side. Some of you uh, might fit. It says, so easy to forget to give thanks on a daily basis. Give him thanks and praise on a daily basis. You know, and of course, one of my readings is uh, the ten lepers. You know, there was ten lepers and they begged Jesus, heal us, you know. So Jesus says, be healed. Go show yourself to the priest. And as they ran to go, go to the priest, guess what? They got healed. But one of them came back and kneeled right in front of him and says, you know, gave thanks to Jesus. Amen. How many of us give thanks on a daily basis? You know, we just forget. And we just go about our days and never say thank you, good morning, or anything. You know, giving thanks. Amen. So that one leper came back and Jesus says, who are you? Where's the other nine? Does he have to say that about you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> what happened to you? I'm knocking, but you're not answering. And we need to give thanks. This is so, so, so important. Amen. Jesus. Praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. So praise God. Give him thanks. Well, just follow with me. <laughs> I'll read this to you. Grab your Bible. Grab your swords and say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Amen. I don't know about yours, but it says, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, if your uh, mind is overloaded right now, just put it at ease and say, Lord, I'm yours. Whatever you have, I want. Amen. And focused. And be focused. Amen. Not like the lady that says, uh, you know, I'm leaving because nobody's paying no attention to you. Everybody's doing their own thing. And he says, well, before you go, you know, do this for me. Take this glass of water, walk around the church a couple of times, and then come back and see me. When she came back, she said, he, pastor says, how much water did you lose? He says, I didn't lose anything. I was too focused on making sure I didn't lose any water. He said, that's what we have to do with the Word of God. We got to be focused. Amen. We got to be focused on the Word and say, Lord, this is for me. Uh-huh. We, we got to mature in the things of God. We got to grow in the things of God. Amen. So that be you. Get your mind ready to receive what God has for you. You know, I know you got a million priorities to do, but guess what? Your pri top priority should be Jesus. Seeking first the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So he should be your first priority. Giving thanks. Rejoicing. Being glad. Being excited. We talked a little bit about this last week. Amen. Being excited. Being joyful. Being glad. 
it says a uh, reminder here and we talked about this believers should be the most joyful most happiest people on earth but it's your choice are you going to receive the doom and gloom or are you going to grow for Jesus bloom for Jesus shine for Jesus that's your choice but you got to get the word in and get your mind straight we fight a spiritual battle daily we are to renew our mind with the word of God amen renew your mind with the word of God and press on with Jesus each morning when you wake up before you even get out of bed yes. I encourage you to declare this loud <laughs> you know we can get loud real good <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to. I've been around some of you. <laughs> and you can be loud. <laughs> so, listen. Before you get out of bed, declare out loud. I am going to enjoy this day. Amen. Amen. I am going to enjoy this day. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. You know? But uh, a lot of us say, well, you know, no, it's Monday. i got to go to work. <laughs> oh, no, it's Tuesday. i got to go to work. And we say the same thing all the way through Thursday. And then on Friday, says, oh, thank God it's Friday. Why do we thank God on Fridays and we can't thank Him Monday through Thursday? All right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You've already made up your choice. You know, and you got a mindset of thinking just like the world. Huh. Oh man, this is bad. No, you make it. And of course, our text, the scripture in there says, why? Because the Bible says, Psalms 118 24, you write that down, open your Bibles, you can follow along. But it says, 118, uh, 24 says this, This is the day the Lord has made. It says, whatever translation you have, it says, We or I will rejoice and be glad in it. You make up your mind now. I am, my mind's made up already. Yeah. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Right. Amen. Each day is a gift. How are you receiving it? Are you receiving it with joy? Are you receiving it with excitement? Are you receiving it with, a, with, with an attitude of, of gratitude? Or are you no. just saying, well, you know, hey, just just another day. No. Well, that's not the right, right attitude. That's right. You got to get the right attitude. Lord, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for you, you know. <laughs> you just got to cock your gun and, and, and I'm ready to shoot the word. Amen. I'm ready to shoot the word of God. It's in me. I'm going to let it out. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of deadly water, living water. It's living water. The word of God is alive. Amen. Yes, the word of God is alive. So 118.24 says what? This is the day the Lord has made. We or I will rejoice and be glad in it. And this is where the bloom and growing or the bloom and doom comes in. Uh -huh. You decide. It's your choice. You know, and don't walk up to a crowd. Don't walk up to people and take their doom uh -huh. and their gloom. Oh, you know, don't take their storm. Yeah. You know, why don't you bring them into your peace? Yes. Why don't yes. you bring them into what you know the peace of God that you have, the good yes. news that you have to share with them, instead of them sucking you into mm -hmm. their their sad news, their bad yeah. news. You know, I, I don't don't let them do that, or let them take your smile from you. Uh -huh. You know, this morning I was smiling. You know, you get to where you're going, and now I'm frowning. You know, I says, <laughs> why? You know, why did you let yourself do that? The enemy uh -huh. comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, destroy. And he wants to take that smile away quickly. Oh, Amen. Yeah. And he's got lots of people out there to help him. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Some of them are families. <laughs> <laughs> so gloom and gloom for daily for Jesus. Or are you going to doom and gloom for the world? It's your choice. I mean, which one are you going to serve? You know, the more work you get in you, the more you renew your mind, yeah. the easier it is for you. Uh -huh. Amen. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. So you decide to be joyful. You decide to be happy and smile right where you are. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't matter. You know, I've told you, Paul was in prison mm -hmm. and wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Yes, he did. Amen. So what excuse do we have? Mm. Amen. We don't have any excuses. Amen. What about Jesus? He came, came from heaven, you know, and went through all kinds of things. Still, you know, his choice was to press on. But we're to press on. Amen. Yes, we are. Amen. Just a, a few scriptures here, but Nehemiah 8.10, uh -huh. the, la uh, uh, um, the um, latter part of it says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Lord, I need your strength. You know, uh -huh. you know so be joyful. Amen. Amen. The joy of the Lord is your strength. 
Amen. Just think about that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be joyful and start celebrating your life. Enjoy your days. Don't just endure your days. Oh, man. I have to do this all over again. You know, Monday through whatever. You know, I got to do it again. Enjoy your life. Amen. Enjoy your days. And you know, it'd be a whole lot easier if you have Jesus or Jesus on your side. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because <laughs> the world wants to tear you up. Oh, yeah. Amen. The world wants to tear you up. You know, uh, rage is rage oh, on a daily Lord. basis. Constantly. What are you going to do? Have the peace of God. Amen. Amen. Have the peace of God. Enjoy your days. Mm -hmm. Smile. <laughs> it gives you a face and a spiritual lift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need a spiritual, I mean, uh, a face lift. We need yeah. a spiritual lift. Always. Amen. Get in the word. Raise above what the problem seems to be uh -huh. you know whatever that problem is you know hey i can pray and i can get above this amen greater is he that sent me than he that's in the world yeah. amen praise god yeah. so smile give your face and your spirit a lift yeah. amen we need that all the time all the time <laughs> Woo, give your friend a break <laughs> hallelujah throw it away get rid of it uh -huh. <laughs> get with believers fellowship and enjoy laugh smile The world has all kind of daily events they go to and do and seem like they're happier than believers. Shouldn't be that way. I told you right up front, believers should be the happiest, joyful, most joyful people on earth. But sometimes they see the other way around. And you know what? We see the world having fun and guess what? We want to go join them. Uh -huh. Amen. We should be having fun. The world wants to join us. Amen. They should see the, the peace. They should see the freedom that we have walking in him. And want to come to join us. He says, I want what you've got. You've got peace. You've got happiness. You've got excitement. You've got joy. What is it? I said, Jesus. I have Jesus. I said, well, I want Jesus. I mean, they should come one running to joining us, you know, instead of us wanting to be jealous and say, well, you, you know, the world's having all kinds of fun. And here I am trying yeah. to be like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, well, it ain't about trying, it's about commit. Yeah. Amen. Submit and commit. Amen. Yeah. Come on now, preaching better than amen. Right. amen. <laughs> Get with believers. You know, sometimes you might have to be uh, the spark. Sometimes you might have to be the fire to go and get some of those uh, uh, coals up and up and on fire. You know, you might bring the fire that's needed to get these people up and on fire for God. Amen. Uh -huh. Just see, remember that. I've shared this with you. You may be the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or read. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, you walk out of these four walls. This is not, this is just the building we meet at. Yeah. But, you know, church, you are the church. Yeah. You are the church. You are the body right. of Christ going somewhere to set somebody free. Uh -huh. Going somewhere to fire up somebody. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Bringing the good news. Uh -huh. yeah. The joyful news. <laughs> the happy news. <laughs> Psalms 34 and 8 says, New Living Translation, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Oh, the joy of those who take refuge in Him. Taste and see. You know, if you want to enjoy something, taste something, you see how good it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to take it and and, and 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 just get it in you and meditate on it. You know, it is good, amen. Yeah, and it yeah. is sweet, amen. Praise God. Thirty-four seven, New King James. Delight, enjoy yourself in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Uh -huh. You want the desires of your heart. You know, you stay with Him. You know, he's going to bless you. He's the blessor. You know, yeah. you're blessed by the best. Yeah. Amen. And he's going to bless you. We just got to be submitted, committed, and faithful believers and servants of God. Amen. Amen. And he's going to see to it that all your needs are met. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added on to you. Yeah. He's not there to take. He's there to, you know, pour it on you. 
Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 17, 22 says, a New Living Translation, a cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine. Yes. <laughs> Amen. This is your spirit, man. Let it be cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine. But a broken spirit saps the person's strength. Yeah. You know, we tend to do that a whole lot. We just always sapped out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be sapped out anymore. Be cheerful. Be happy. Be joyful. It's good medicine for you. Even the body knows. You know, when the body, when, when you're happy, when you're joyful, the body knows, receives it. Mm -hmm. And it's medicine. It heals it. When you're sad, doom, and gloom, guess what? The body knows too. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's going to bring you down. So, whoo, hallelujah, walk with yeah. him. Yeah. And not with the world, amen. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. John 3, 16 says what? For God so loved the world. Yeah. For God so loved the world. People, us, uh -huh. that he gave. He sacrificed his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, this life ain't over when you die. That's right. It goes on. Where you go is your choice. Not mm -hmm. the crowd. Or not so and what so and so says. Or not what pastor says. Mm -hmm. You go find out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. When this life is over, you know, there's eternal life. Either heaven or hell. But you make the choice. Because you have to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Somebody needed that. <laughs> and you're listening. <laughs> Amen. You're listening. So... Receive him now as your Lord and Savior. Quit putting it off. You know, another year. Oh, we're halfway through. Oh, yeah. And this month's almost over. As a matter of fact, this is the last Sunday of the month. Uh -huh. Soon, next month, <laughs> will be August. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. For God so loved the world, he gave. Yes. Yes, he and we are to give. We're to be givers and not yes. just takers. Come on now. And a lot of you, all you want to do is take, take, take. Oh, boy. <laughs> But we got to give up ourselves. Uh -huh. Since for God so loved the world that he gave. Mm -hmm. And he's teaching us to be imitators. He's teaching us how to be givers. Yes. And not just takers. Amen. Hallelujah. You got something you got to give. You got the love of God. You got all kinds of things that you want to give. Amen. You know, a kind word. A nice word. A smile. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all kinds of things that you can uh -huh. give. Great time to, be, uh, to give thanks. Thank you, Father, for sending Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for completing your mission. Amen. And for paying the price, full price, mm -hmm. for my salvation. Yes. Amen. A lot of you don't know. Maybe this is the first time you've heard it, but salvation is a free gift. Yes. All you have to do is receive it. Yes. You receive him. Say, Lord Jesus, <laughs> uh, I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And it's free. Yes. But you have to confess it and receive it. Amen? Yeah. And that's it. It won't cost you anything. You can't buy it. It's already paid for. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? So, somebody needed it. I'm glad you got it. Thank you, Jesus. He paid a debt. He didn't owe. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. Uh -huh. So, guess what? I've got news for you. <laughs> you don't belong to yourself. You belong to Him. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, you're His. Yes. Yeah. We just got to come in the right senses. Accept Him and yes. serve Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Submit, commit, and serve. Ooh, I like that. Yes. <laughs> when you get up daily, we should not have problems. Just give Him thanks. Being joyful, glad, excited. We have much more to gain and nothing to lose. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know what? We've uh, read this so many times, but it's okay. Anything you want in this life. Is in this book. You know yes. what the Bible stands for? Basic instruction before leaving earth. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Bible. <laughs> Amen. It's just basic, basic, basic. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you go to Psalms uh, 100. Go to Psalms 100. We'll read it together. Amen. We go by the word here. And we read from the word. Uh -huh. We teach from the word. Amen. Mine starts off with this. Song of praise and joy. Verse 1 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. You make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord with sadness. No, gladness. Oh, serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before His presence with 
singing. See, now I got proof. <laughs> All those of you <laughs> that don't care for my singing, <laughs> Lord loves it. And he says, come before him with singing. Mm -hmm. So if I sing unto the Lord and you happen to be around, <laughs> you just got to pray, Lord, heal his ears. <laughs> Or heal them. Oh, God. <laughs> or, or heal their attitude because they don't like me singing, Lord. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Amen. When you get you before Him, you know, and you're, and you're praising and worshiping Him, and somebody is just watching you, they should be looking at Him yes. and focused on Him. Yes. And you know what? If you can't stop your eyes from just wondering, just, shut, <laughs> just close them. Just close them and focus on Him. Oh, God. Amen. You can do that much. You know, yes. you're not the judge to come and see who's wearing what or who's doing what or who's not focused. Well, you know what? They received and you didn't because you was too busy being a judge. Oh, boy. We're not called a judge. Amen. That's Just right. come. Receive before Him. Amen. Amen. Where'd that come from? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, God. Verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord he is, he is God. Uh -huh. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Amen. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving daily. We're talking yes. about daily, not just every Sunday uh. when we meet <laughs> or when you get join a service, you know, a, a, a worship service. Mm -hmm. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be right. thankful unto him and bless his, bless name. his name. Amen. It's always, you know, or you should have a time when you meet with him on a daily basis when you wake up. It says, yeah. Lord, I just want to praise and worship you. Amen. Spend time with him. You know, if you're going to uh, pray and, and ask, then wait for him to respond and say something to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't just run and you know, or gun and run or run and gun. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. Just wait. <laughs> for the Lord is what? Good. Good. His mercy is what? Everlasting and His truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Yeah. If you never read that before, read it. And you know what? If you never open up your, your Bible, it's time to open it up. Dust it and open it up and read it. Mm. Word of God is alive. Word of God is alive. Yes, it is. So praise God. Everything you want to know and need to know and don't have right now is in here. Yeah. In the Word of God. So it says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God, and he has made us, and not we ourselves. We're his people and the sheep of his pasture. And to his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generation. Given thanks should come from your heart yes daily yeah. as often as you want to right. amen thank you lord when you say heart you know your spirit man yes amen your spirit thank you lord amen he talks to your spirit amen praise god giving thanks in psalms 100 is about excitement it's about joy mm -hmm. amen it's about serving yes being glad Coming before God with singing. Mm -hmm. He said, if you don't sing, he said, he'll make the rock sing. Mm -hmm. So I know I can sing better than a rock. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might be close. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I know I can not sing a rock. Amen. Hey, we can make a donkey talk. I know I can sing. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Come before God with singing. So back off. Leave me alone. I want to sing my God. You just got to listen. <laughs> Get to know God. Get to know the Lord. He is God. Enter his gates with, or enter his gates and into his courts giving thanks and praise. Amen. You don't know what else to say. Just say thank you. Yeah. Amen. It's not complicated. That's right. Some people uh, try to attract attention by just praying a nice, nice, nice long uh, prayer mm. and draw attention to themselves. Mm. You know, blessed are the people that shine 
and been through stuff mm -hmm. and don't require That's right. attention to themselves, you know. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Somebody needed that. Come on. <laughs> God gave Joshua a plan. The walls of Jericho ain't coming down. So what? God gave him a plan to bring the walls down. He says, put the praises first. <laughs> you know what? If you have never entered into praise and worship, I don't know why we're dwelling on this, but <laughs> if you got walls before you, mm. you know, problems before you, that you've never able or see yourself bringing down, mm -hmm. it's time that you started praising Him. Yeah. Because He's going to bring them down. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's gonna, how am I going to do it? Well, <laughs> you can't do it. Yeah. But when you start worshiping Him and praising Him, those walls, he says, put the praises. He told Joshua, put the praises first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, I just want to praise you mm -hmm. and get before him. You'll see those walls, those difficult yes. walls that you said were impossible are now yeah. possible to yes. come down because of him. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Sacrifice, giving of yourself like Jesus. Giving yourself. You know, we hold on too much to ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we don't want to do too much. Uh, we're not meeting right now, per se, at church. But when you come to church, when you come to our assembly, all of us have gifts that we can help out. Yeah. And help out in, in the church. In the church. Yeah. Amen. In, the, in our service. All of us. Not just some of us. Or when you go wherever you happen to go, you have mm -hmm. sacrifice of yourself wherever you happen to go. Just like Jesus sacrificed himself. Amen. Going somewhere to happen. Bless his name. Bless the Lord. Psalms 100 is, listen, you can write these down. Psalms 100 is full of action words. And we need some action. We need some good action. Amen. We need some positive action. First thing we can do is shout. The only time some of us shout is when we're shouting at somebody else. But we're not shouting anything good. We're shouting something bad. But I know we can all shout. Amen. Action word. Shout. Serve. Oh, I don't serve for nobody. Just for myself. Mm. No, we're to serve. Yeah. Amen. We're to serve. Jesus. He says he came to this world not to be served, but to serve. But to serve. And he's our greatest example. If he came to serve, and if he can serve, so can we. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> when... Uh, Jesus came to Mary and Martha's house. Martha's trying to impress and overwhelm with all kinds of things going on. He said, well, if I get busy and do this for Jesus, and he's going to see me and he's going to be impressed. Mary chose to come and serve him. And she came and paid attention to his needs. And guess what? <laughs> Made Martha uh, jealous. Yeah. Martha got upset said won't you tell her to come help me uh -huh. God said her strength uh -huh. amen so we need to serve him amen not to serve yeah. uh, others or not to serve to try to be impressive uh -huh. so that people can see us you know a lot of times you'd be surprised my, one of my favorite scriptures uh, Colossians 3 23 24 whatever you do do it unto him yes. and a lot of times I said this before I go anywhere and if I help, it's just me and God know. Mm -hmm. I don't, nobody else needs to know. Amen. Because he's going to bless me. And I'm doing it under him. And it might be somebody you may not like. But it's a child of God. They haven't received it yet. But you're doing under him. Amen. Especially if he tells you to go do something. You say, but you don't know. <laughs> he told the man of God, go lay hands on a on uh, on Saul, mm -hmm. he said he's ready to come to me. <laughs> he said, but you don't understand. You don't know. He's going around killing Christians, and you want me to go lay hands on him? Mm. He said, but not my will. Your will be done. Mm -hmm. he, he, we got up and he went and did what God told him to do. Amen. Some of us have been lost, and it's time to come home. Amen. And confess him as your Lord and Savior, and come back to God. Amen. I know, you, I know you're tired of this world. Okay, we're going with action words. Shout, serve, come. It's number three. 
We're to come. You know, he says, come. Peter saw Jesus walking on water. He says, wow, Jesus, I want to come where you are. He says, come. That's all he said, come. And he was able to do. He was able to do what God, what Jesus told him to do. Yeah. So he tells, he tells, he's telling us, oh, come. And we're to go and do what God has called us to do. That's Amen. Right. We're, we're all on a, we're all on a mission. And he's equipped us. He's anointed us. Uh -huh. And he's called us. And we just need to be obedient and come. Amen. Come to him. Amen. Another word is no. N O K N O W. No. Another one is enter. Mm -hmm. We're to enter. Amen. We're to enter. Come. You know, we're to put some faith in our feet and start yeah. and enter into the things of God. Amen. Amen. Well, another action word, two more. Give. We're to oh, give. Boy. Give of ourselves. But you don't understand, I don't have anything to give. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, we're thinking financial, but it's not always finances. That's right. A lot of times it's just us. What do I have to give? Mm -hmm. I can give a smile. I can give a thank you. I can give of my time. Mm -hmm. I can, I've got lots of things that I can give. Mm -hmm. hey Amen. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. And I'm going to give. Hey Amen. Be a giver. Amen. Be a giver. And the last one is bless. 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 So it's shout. Serve, come, know, enter, give, and bless. These are action words in Psalms 100. Mm. And we're to do. All of these words are calling us to do something. Mm -hmm. Be thankful in words and in actions. To give thanks is also involvement. We're to be involved in the things of God. Mm -hmm. We're to be involved. Listen, wherever you happen to assemble yourself, mm -hmm. be involved in that in in that uh in that body. The body of Christ there in that church. Yeah. You know, uh, you've heard me say this many times, but when I know when God sent me, I go to pastor and meet him and say, Lord wants me to come to church here. Mm -hmm. And be this be my church and you be my pastor. And I just want you to know, Pastor, um, whatever you need help in, I'll do. I'll serve. And uh, lots of times they tell you things that nobody wants to do. <laughs> He said, well, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't do that. No, I submit myself. And I say, Lord, I'm going to do this unto you. And Pastor, I'm going to do this. And you can count on it. Faithfully, I'll be there. I'll do it. Amen. This is what we need to do. Faithfully be there for him. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> be involved. Mm -hmm. God's called us to be actively involved in giving thanks to him. Yes. Giving thanks to him daily. Uh -huh. Not just uh, once uh, monthly or yearly. We celebrate Thanksgiving once a year. Amen. But yes. daily. Not yeah. just when all things are right. We say, oh, thank you, Lord. Everything's okay. <laughs> Not just when I feel like it. Mm -hmm. No. On a daily basis. Daily. Every day is the right time to give thanks. Amen. You, didn't got, you didn't get anything else. Get this. <laughs> Daily, every day is the right time to give thanks. Yes. Right? Say thank you. And uh, the little thing uh, that I read to you a few minutes ago, each day is a gift. You know, your first miracle of the day is your eyes open. That's the first miracle. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. It's a gift. Receive yes. it with joy. Receive uh -huh. it with excitement. Receive it with gratitude. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. And in closing, yeah. that's your first amen there. Yes. <laughs> We're not going to finish all this. We'll finish it. <laughs> we'll finish it next next uh, next month, next Sunday. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Remembering the true meaning of giving thanks. The true meaning of giving thanks is spelled like this: J E S U S. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's the true meaning of giving thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Thank, and thanksgiving is done daily. Amen? Yeah. So praise God. And I just gave you uh, uh, some action words that we should write down and we, we, we should focus on these. Yeah. Psalms 100. 
action words to shout. If you've always been silent, well, that's the way I am. Well, you know, you got to get out of the flesh and get in the spirit and get in the things of God. Amen. Let the word of God penetrate so that you can shout, <laughs> serve, come, know, enter, give, and bless. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Church, give him thanks daily. Amen. And often. Praise God. I'll close with that. Praise yeah. God. Praise Thank God. You. Praise God. <laughs> hey, if you're doing it already, continue doing it. If you haven't done it, it's time to start. Yes. If this is your first time, you know, we we'll give you the opportunity to receive Jesus, you know what I'm saying? And whatever you've been told, you know, you, you, it's too late for you. No, it's never too late. But you have to confess him as you want to say. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And stop living for him. Start getting in the word and living for Jesus. Amen. And there's hope for you. And he's got an assignment for you. And it's time to get busy for Jesus. Once you come into the kingdom of God, it's time to get busy for Jesus. Amen. So praise God. Amen. If there's sickness in your body and your family or anywhere else, you know, just stand on the word. Lay hands on you. Lay hands on somebody. Say, lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. Amen. Yeah. So, sickness, we take authority and we cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. But we receive healing in, in my body right now in Jesus' name. So, be healed. Amen. Yeah. Because the word of God says it. So, you start confessing it. Amen. Yeah. And don't confess the problem. Confess the word. And find scripture to back it and start confessing the scripture. I don't care how your body feels. Amen. You start confessing the word until their body lines up with the word of God and it's healed in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. It's already paid for. Amen. So praise God. And for those of you, it's time to give. We appreciate you. Amen. Uh, well, the information's not up there, but I'm going to give it to you. Our website is nbcbigben.com. And there's a donate button there. And uh, if you're mailing it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. Again, we thank you and God bless you. Amen. We love you. Praise God.